Okay, here we go. We have an SX P30 piano, digital piano that is, and the, there we go, so you can see the front of it. These are the 88 uh, weighted keys. This does not have the speakers built in. This is just a jack out, because all the other ones I've seen have the speakers built in. I've already taken out screws on all of these around the outside. And we're going to take the screws around the inside because I'm guessing that these ones around the outside hold on the housing and the ones around the inside hold the, the structure of the keys onto whatever holds it. So I'm also going to take out these feet first if I can because I don't know if they're attached. I think the feet are just attached to the housing. Yeah, these are tiny little... These are tiny little screws. Let's see if you that's in focus. But yeah, these are tiny little screws. They're not the kind that are going to hold it in place. So I think I can actually leave those in for right now. Put it back in. And then I'm going to take all of these out. Here we go. Okay, so this is definitely going to need cleaning out too, but as you can see here, like this key, not sure which key that even was, oh it's one of the, okay, so no, that wasn't one of the sticky keys, but as you can see here there are all the mechanisms, and so that's what I need to check, is I need to check and make sure all of these mechanisms are physically sound, and I'm also going to clean all this stuff up. So I'm going to grab the vacuum and the blower and all that stuff and get this cleaned out first and then we'll proceed and see if we can get the holder out of here. Okay, so we've got this cleaned out and let me see if I can get you guys a decent close-up of what this looks like for right now. There is a board here and then there's all these mechanisms so when you hit the key obviously it's gonna do all this stuff. So what I need to do is try to get these. <laughs> I need to get these out of here and see if there's a way like down here there's a screw. But I see I need to see I think this whole thing this whole thing from here down to here is one solid frame, if you know what I mean. I think that's its own frame, and so I should be able to get all of that out in one thing. And so that's going to be my goal here, so, then we, so that we can access the rest of this mechanism. Okay, so we've got the main board out of the way. I'm hoping that these screws here are going to be what lets the frame of this, of the keys out. So we'll try unscrewing these. And yeah, it feels like it's moving now. So we'll get this one down here. When I release this one, there's only one left on the other end, so it should be up. It's going to swing downward. Okay. Swing downward. Now, the other thing about this that really made me think I was going to need to take it apart is that it was failing the rattle test. So I don't think this thing has ever, ever been upside down in 20 years. And so when I, like, turned it upside down and, and leaned it back and forth, it just started. <laughs> there were a few rattles. And like there's pieces loose in the middle and I didn't know if it was like bug carcasses or you know pieces of broken plastic tabs or something that were that were going back and forth between here. But so now we've got these loose and I'll show you the top of the keyboard here. So we're gonna turn this around for a second because as you can see here. The keys are now 
out you know this detached from the rest of it and so I'm going to try to get this whole thing out of the frame and I think we'll turn it upside down completely there's nothing on the top that's going to stick out or get broken or anything like that and so we should be able to I don't think we're going to be able to lift this completely out. Let me see. I think maybe I'm going to have to detach this board too. So I'm going to have to pull out this connector here. And I'm also going to have to cut that. There's a zip tie. Okay, so down here, there is a connector here that came off the board. And then Underneath here, right there where my finger's pointing, there's a zip tie and I need to snap that off too with, with these. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now that we got that off, we can move the board off to the side. And then we should be able to should be able to lift this out of here. There we go. And so we'll slide this over gently. And we'll put down our keyboard here. I just want to be careful not to also not to scratch up our table but if you look here closely closely -er, I think you can see it right here on the D but yeah each of these now it's in focus each of these has a letter that tells you what key it is so these are all different these are all unique for the mechanism so if you have to order parts you have to make sure you know which key you're getting so I'm going to clean this off some more, and then uh, I'll be back again. Okay, the keyboard is all cleaned up. And so I want to look at this F key first. So this one here, and as you see, these keys all come up to the top, and this one is not. So we're going to check the rest of the keys here. I just invented this technique, so <laughs> I don't know. It's it's not necessarily going to show. Some of the keys you press them and you press them, and, you know, you press them a hundred times and then a hundred and first time, first time it does this. And so I'm sure there's something down here. I'm probably going to need to look at all of the all of the different um, springs and everything or whatever. It's just weights and and uh, uh, axles or whatever, but yeah, I'm going to need to look, you know, that's a technical term for it, right? I'm going to need to look at all of the all of the parts, the mechanical parts, and make sure that I can find the ones that are messed up. I'm just looking for ones that aren't coming up all the way because I would think that would be a clue that something's wrong. Okay, so now I've got it on something softer. I just want to lift it up here and I want to see if there's anything I can see on the bottom of these keys. Where is that F? Is this one here? Yeah, there's there's still information missing from this because I can't see what's under here so I think I'm going to try taking off this piece here. So we have 1, 9, 17, 25, 33, so it's every 8. There are some other holes between those that look like screws could go in them, so I don't want to do that wrong when I try to put it back. I don't want to lose track of where I was. 
So now this will come out. Hanging this up, I'm hoping this flex cable will let me just look at it without having to take out the other end of it. And yes, okay. So we have some crumbs or gunk or whatever. Yeah, it looks like crumbs. Crumbs on here. And I still can't see anything that might be wrong with this key. It's probably a crumb in there or something. So I am going to take out the other side and I'm going to clean all these up. So let me get this other board over here taken out and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we have more of this stuff. Down here, if you can see it, there's like fuzzy wuzzies down here too. So I'm going to try to clean out that. You can probably see this little thing right there. And there's, yeah, see there's like crumbs and stuff in here. So I'm going to try to vacuum all of this out. And this must be the F key. Can you see it right there? See this piece right here is sideways. So as you see, these things go, like this one that I'm wiggling right now, goes a little bit to the side, this one's really loose. So there's probably a part on there, probably a little tab somewhere that keeps it from going sideways that has broken off. And is that, yep, that's the key. And you can see that's why it's sticking like that, because when these keys come up, see the two white plastic things? Can you see it? Yeah. So there, there's a little white plastic tab on the side of each key. And on this one, on this one, there, the, there's tabs that come up and then that thing that sits in the middle and it's catching on that. So if I were to do that, then it suddenly wouldn't stick. So I'm going to have to figure out how this is secured in there. So let me clean this up and uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so that stuff is all cleaned out and what I'm also going to do to make sure that I'm not missing any parts, uh, missing any bad pieces, is I'm going to go through each of these, each of these here and like this one, this one is wiggly, this one is not, this one is not, this one is, So I'm going to go through all 88 of these and inspect them. Just make sure there's not any other loose ones that are going to be, that are going to need the same repair. So that way when I'm doing it, I can do all of them at the same time. Okay, I've marked three of them that are candidates uh, for potential problems. And so, yeah, what's happening is when you hit the key... And you can see down here, this thing comes up, but it's it's not completely attached to the key. So the key basically, once this is, once the key is let up, this thing can actually still stay up, like, you know, in that moment where it's still floating upward from gravity. And so if it's not held in place from going this way, then it can go swing up, and then do that, and then come down off off of its track and that's where it gets stuck and so that's what I need to do is I need to look at these keys and especially this one so that I can get an example and I need to take this one off of there we go so let me get a close up here and I'll show you but look at all the gunk on it too but this tab right here sits underneath across that metal and so you just pull up gently on the tab. You don't want to, you know, break it, but you pull out the tab and then it just slides, the key just slides right out. So let me bring the camera down here. All right, so I will show you this again. It hurts just to put that in there with all the junk on it, but yeah, so basically the key goes in like this. It sits like this and you pull this up and then it just slides out that way, okay? And so I'm gonna clean that off. And we'll take a look at the mechanism here. So this is just a stop. This piece here 
is fixed. It doesn't wobble around or anything. And I believe this is a piece that commonly breaks and then the keys will move sideways. So I imagine they would get stuck if the key moved sideways too. But as you see here, there is this mechanism. So let's see if this will, yeah, this will just come out. It's just sitting there by gravity. And I'm guessing, yeah, this will come out through this hole. Yep. Okay, so when you hit the key, it smushes this down. This lever comes up and then comes back down. So that's what your weighted keys do. And I really don't see where the loose piece is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the next key off just so that we have a basis of comparison. So hopefully you guys can see better this time when I take this one off. There we go. And you know what? There's a spring on this one. Was there not a spring on the other one? Yeah, there is a spring on the other one. Okay. So if you could see there, there's a spring inside there. And for whatever reason on this one, it didn't stick. And on this one, it did. And I'm not sure if this one is supposed to be stuck like that or what. So we're going to find out. <laughs> but let's take this out here for a second. There we go. And I'm just looking for differences in these two these two sets of mechanisms. And I honestly, I don't even see any differences. It really makes me want to take all these keys out and clean them individually, but I don't think I want to go that OCD about it. Um, let's, see, let's see if we can get this put back in here. So this sits on there. And that's the other part, is that this little, this right here, there's a semicircular and then there's a tab in the middle, and that tab is what sits in that little groove. And then this tab here, this little square tab on the bottom, pokes in to that. So let me get a better close-up of this too so you can see it. Because I know when I want to take something apart, it's awesome to be able to see what it's going to look like before I get it open. There we go. So that's the two pieces I was talking about, is it sits on that, and then the tab goes into that. But I don't see where there's room for play. So I'm going to mess around with it for a little bit more, and uh, I'll come back in a second. Okay, so I think I know what's going on here is this key holds this little leaf spring. I think that's what it's called. It's the technical term for it, right? It holds this little spring, and this spring sits, you can see this tab right here, okay? It sits in this little tab, and if you look from the side, it actually holds it like this. So I think what this thing does is that when you press the key down, this provides tension so that it doesn't come loose from the, um, so that it actually, this goes up when the key goes up. You know what I mean? So that this can't like just float up, you know, the key goes down, this floats up and then the key comes back up and then this kind of comes down afterwards. And I think that's what's going on here. So I'm going to have to try to put this back in and see if maybe I can get this to go in in one shot like that. So this is the other weight. This is the weight for the F key. So let me try this out and see if that's what's going on. But this needs to go this way. We're going to take this weight back out. I might have to turn the, the keyboard upside down in order to, to do this correctly. I'm, I'm suspecting that that's what I'm going to have to do. So this is going to have to go upside down. Like that. This is going to sit like this. So if you can see when the... You can see where the grease spot is on the... Oops. You can see you can see where the grease spot is, a little shiny spot right there. That's where this is hitting it, where it's sitting against it. And so this thing is actually keeping it up against that the whole time. So if this comes loose while the key is off and then it sits like this, then it doesn't want to come back down and it holds the key 
or it holds the weight halfway down. So I think that's what was happening. So I'm going to mess around with this and see if I can get it to go back in. Okay, so I think I know what's happening here. I got this one back in, and what I had to do was I had to put this little piece of this spring across this little tab here so that it would hold it in place. And then, basically once this was in here already, that is, so we'll put this in, put this piece in, if I can do it, right? Okay, and we're going to get it set back in so that that little tab that I showed you and that other thing are sitting in their, their little spots and it's, as you can see, it's free moving. And so this little spring, it looks like on this one, it's just stuck to the top. It's not, um, and it, maybe it's supposed to be, but it's not coming down like the other one was. And so I think that's what's happening is because if I go like that, this space here is a lot smaller. The space between this tab and the top of the plastic piece is only like that big. That gap is only like that big, but the piece of plastic that needs to fit in there is like that big. And so, yeah, the difference between the bottom of that tab and that thing. And so I think that's what's going on. So I'm going to try to get this out of here if I can. Okay, so this piece is loose and yeah, it was just it was just sitting there. I don't know why it was stuck on there specifically, but it was. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this spring in here. And this needs to be arched with the center upward, so not this way, not U-shaped, the opposite of U, so N-shaped, I guess, um, lowercase n, that is. So we're going to put that tab in there where it's going to sit, and then we're going to take this tab, and we're going to get that tab into, you can see it right here, this little area here. So we're going to get that into there, and now you can see it through the end here, that it's in there. So that's now in there, and what I need to do is let me move the camera so that you can see it. But on this end, if you can see, let me lift this up real quickly. It's either these two holes. We're going to get these two tabs into those two holes, and then in the front, it's the same way. On the front, you can see the same thing on this end here. So there's two tabs on the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply some tension here. And we're basically going to pull this back. We're pulling it this way. It's just enough that it needs to, just as much as it needs to and not more. There we go. And now it slips into place. And there we go. And that key appears to be fixed. Cool. And we're going to see if any of the others that I marked are going to give me problems. This one doesn't seem to. And I don't remember any, anything this far up getting stuck, so I don't want to mess with it because I know it was like at either an F or an A down this way. And I'm guessing that the problem with these other ones was gunk getting stuck in them. So what I'm going to do is before I put this back together, I am going to go through here with a fine tooth comb and underneath the mechanisms that is, like under, from under here. I'm going to look through here again and make sure that there's no crumbs or anything like that sitting in here. So I'm going to do that and uh, then we're going to put it back together. Okay, I think we are done. I think all the keys are going to be fine. So I'm going to take this thing and put it back together. And yep, I think that should be okay. And yeah, this piece here that was loose is now not wobbly at all, which is really cool. I'm really glad about that. All right. And these two, I don't know, we'll see. If they, if they do start acting up, I'm going to mark them next time so that I don't have to gas once I get it open. But we're going to put this back on here. And so let me show you how that goes. Okay, for this board, I figured out the trick for it. And what you do is you put this down 
in here and then you push down on these and slide this forward. So you have to push down on this because this, those little rubber things are providing tension and then you push it this way. So you come down and then in this way and then it'll come into place. So, because otherwise your the screw holes are here and on down below and then they're up here over here. So I'm needing to slide it in this way. So I'm going to try to let this thing out again and see if I can get it to do it this time because I was doing it wrong last time. There we go. So I want to go like that. There we go. So it just, you can hear them. That's the sound of victory. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put these screws in and we'll put this thing, continue putting this thing back together. Okay, that part is back together. So then I need to put this back into the case. And then we're going to gently put this back in here. You know what, there's one little, little crumb in there. I swear every time I vacuum there's more crumbs. I think what we need to do is this so that our fingers aren't in the way. Actually, I think this side needs to go in first. So the bottom of the keys can come out. There we go. And then that aligns with that there. This plug goes back in here. So that plug is going to go this way. Pretty obvious with which way the plug goes, but if you're not certain that you're going to be able to do it right, then take pictures before you take it out if you're going to do that. Plug this back in, and then we're going to, I'm going to zip tie that thing back on there because I'm sure it's on there for a reason if you're banging on this thing. And then the board chews on this. If this bounces around, the edges of this metal are going to be loose. Or the edges of the metal are sharp. And they can chew on that. So I'm going to zip tie that too. Okay, so this board is secured back onto here. But this isn't, this board, this keyboard part is not secured onto anything yet so I need to make sure that I don't uh, rip anything or whatever and I'm making sure that the keys in the front are aligned well if so what we're going to do is we're going to put this board back on here and let me make sure that the holes align there we go that's, that's the alignment so if you look down through these holes you can see that the screw holes are actually lined up, which you guys aren't going to be able to see. And why do I have three more gold screws? Nope, I don't see anything that's critical. There's nothing loose or anything, so... I'm going to leave them out for right now, because I'm brave. Yeah, that's, that's what you call that. Alright, there we go. Everything's back together. We've... Honestly, I don't remember where these four came from, but real men don't need all the screws. <laughs> uh, I'll figure it out if it's... I mean, it's not like anything is going to be rattling around in here or anything, so... We'll check it out. And I, when I'm editing the video, that's when I'll see where they came from. And then if I see that they look like they're critical, then I will put them back. And there's also two holes here that I'll have to look again at the beginning and see, but this is now back in shape. And all the 
seems to appear to be working. So let me plug it back in.